Hey there, Pisces. Welcome to your weekly reading for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs for the week of May 10th through the 16th. Let's tap into your energy for the week ahead. Okay, what is going on? Okay, sorry guys, that wasn't because of the reading. That was just because I'm freaking hot in my house right now. <laughs> and I've got a bunch of candles that makes my room even hotter. <laughs> So let's see. Hey guys, make sure you give it a thumbs up, like, share, comment, and subscribe. Double tap that bell to get notified of all the readings that are coming for you. I've also got some great announcements coming up. Here we go. Overall energy at the bottom. You've got great news, things to be celebrating. King of Cups energy here with you. Beautiful emotional news. Very, very happy, joyous occasion. And can I just focus here on these three? I mean, come on. If you've been finally waiting for that happily ever after, a beautiful connection in love, in partnership, in friendship, you have a choice between romantic partnerships, uh, lovers, whatever it may be. For a while, I've had the energy of you already being in a committed relationship, but just kind of on paper or maybe as roommates and just going with the flow. And now you finally decided to make those changes, what you need to do. I think that you have kind of been in, in that limbo state of mind, wondering which is my better option? What will suit me, my children, my family? What is best for us moving forward? You know, can I make this work? Is it a good time for me to leave my partner or spouse or move out or, you know, whatever it may be. I feel that you've had so many looming questions for quite some time and you've finally gotten the clarity that you need. If you haven't, I'm letting you know right now, this is the week for you. The moon card definitely lets you know that there is a lot of the unseen moving parts that will bring about some clarity, especially those of you that are wondering whether or not you have a job now that things are opening up. Will your job call you back? Will you have a secure, stable place of employment? Should you go back to school, further your education? I really feel that you will hear from a boss, a supervisor, giving you an offer. I just have to warn you, it may not be the offer that you have been looking forward to. I think it's going to be more like on a part-time basis or maybe less pay. Uh, putting you in a different bracket is what I heard. So whatever that means to you in your place of employment. I also feel that some of you do have very many options to continue applying. So don't limit yourself is what the main message I feel for you. Definitely take the time uh, to reevaluate the options that you are willing to take to entertain when it comes to your career, business, jobs, whatever it may be. I mean, if you work retail and you've only done one specific type of retail, like department store retail, but now you're thinking of going towards a small boutique or towards, I don't know, auto parts store, like retail can vary, you know? And, and so you might realize that going to like, an auto parts store or like, um, I don't know why I got that, but definitely I'm seeing cars, car parts, mechanical stuff. Um, I'm seeing a lot of that. So I think that if you give the opportunity to something different, you'll realize that, you know, once you get the hang of it and you start learning everything there is to learn about it, it actually will probably pay you better. For some of you, that is your only option and you're not happy with it because it's stuff that you don't know and you don't care about. So really, it's time for you to get real, get straight with yourself about weighing out your options, what you're willing to accept, no less than X, Y, Z, and how you're willing to move forward. What do you need to be able to feel comfortable, secure, safe so that you can move forward, especially if you have children? Either way, whatever happens for you here, I do feel like a sense of peace and tranquility because you do get the job that you are looking for. It may not be the immediate response you're hoping for, but you do get to go back to work. I'm definitely hearing that. And you may come back on a part-time basis, as I said, but things will definitely look in, up in your favor. I'm also hearing for some of you, not everyone comes back to work. So you may come back on a part-time basis thinking, all the employees are coming back and then you'll realize not everybody will accept their position back and before you know it you are working not only the full-time 40 hours but probably also overtime and maybe moving into a lead or management position and that was totally unexpected so I definitely feel the need to tell you expect the unexpected there's a lot to be celebrated uh, moving forward I feel like this is definitely going to be a turning point for you when it comes to that 
Um, I'm a little curious though. Let's see what the archangels have to say for this week for you. Actually, wrong deck. Let me get the other deck. I have not taken that one out. Give me a sec. I haven't used this one for a while, so sorry, that was like right in the camera. Let's see what, ooh. let's clear the stack, bring it back to life. Okay, what message does Pisces need to hear? moving forward from here on out. I feel like your love life and your job are both going to be looking good. You are a light worker. God needs you to shine your divine light and love like an angel upon the earth and all of its inhabitants. So if you were second guessing yourself, whether or not what you are feeling, sensing, understanding, knowing your intuition is getting so much clearer, so much better. You're receiving downloads, light code messages of that sort. You're realizing you are much more empathic than you were giving yourself credit for or that you even wanted to realize. I also feel for some of you, you're starting to connect with other people upon that level and you're starting to understand the spiritual journey even further, okay? So definitely it feels as though you will be connecting with your soul family as well. And here we go. New romance is eminent either with a newcomer or through reignited passion in your existing relationship. Be open to giving and receiving love. So definitely, like I said, you've got a lot of beautiful energy coming your way. Beautiful energy in love. Let's see. Wisdom of the Oracle to close out this message. I just feel the need to tell you, you know, stay on course. You have a lot of options, a lot of opportunities coming your way. Stay optimistic about everything. Your love life is looking good. Your finances will be looking even better. What did I tell you? Your soul family, your soul tribe, the people that you're meant to connect with that will get you on an energetic level, on an empathic level, on a romantic level, emotional level. So this is definitely a time to also reconnect with family if you've been uh, kind of in the outs with them or you've been at a distance. Maybe you haven't seen like your parents, your siblings, um, friends, family members in quite some time. This feels like the time for you to reconnect with them. And you also have the energy of chop wood, right? So number 42, that boils down to a six. It's about putting in a little bit more work, getting into the meat of the issue, the problem, whatever it may be, doing the work in order for you to move on to the next phase of your life, the next chapter of your life. As Spirit is saying, it's time for you to clean house, do the work, and get moving forward. You already know the answer to this. I feel that you've already, this feels like a, a moment of where things just click and fall into place and things just feel so much easier. The decisions that you need to make regarding your life and how you move forward, this just feels like it suddenly becomes so much easier to make up your mind, to make big life decisions, whereas before it still felt pretty heavy. I think that you're just, it's almost as though you elevated yourself, you took a break, you cleared your mind, your heart, body, soul, spirit, whatever you needed to do. You meditated, you went to the spa, you just took better care of yourself. And it really brought so much that was kind of lingering in your mind and in your heart into the forefront so that you can really break it down and understand how you're going to move forward from here on out. Pisces, that is your reading for May 10th through the 16th. Thank you guys once again, sending you so much love. Please be sure to give a thumbs up. I am linking here your playlist and whatever other readings I record because I'm sorry guys, I'm pretty far behind on all my readings. I promise I will have your May general and your May love life out very soon. In the meantime, you get your weekly readings. So thank you guys so much for being patient. I will also be going live for the bonus readings. So I've got announcements, as I said, so make sure that you are subscribed with notifications on. Can't wait to connect with you guys on the live. So take care. Have a good one. Have a wonderful week. Take care. Bye.